Bars and restaurants adapt to a new habitat. The transformation has been fast. Sellins on H Street built this deck in two days. We look forward to uh, having some mimosas and breakfast out here. Timothy and Meredith see socially distant dining as a positive side effect of COVID-19. We've yeah. got great weather at Sacramento. It's a little hot, so yeah. maybe some misters for, might for help. For people from but, England, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Restaurants need this new option to be the hook that reels more customers in. Even two extra seats is potentially, you know, eight more people at least coming in. And we've been pretty full, so that is a blessing in disguise. Social distancing means limiting capacity and bottom lines. Pre-COVID business models are thrown out the window. Staffing needs are changing, as well as how much food is bought from vendors. It's their whole ecosystem has been disrupted. And so what we hope is that by bringing some of these patios to life, they can add back some of their capacity and make it so that their business models are more viable. The Midtown Association announcing today that 20th Street between J and K will completely close for outdoor seating all the way until September. The city will also offer grants to help restaurants pay for railings, patios, and barricades. It could be the start of a new trend in Sacramento. When I look at it, I think, why aren't we doing this as a city all the time? And it's all thanks to coronavirus. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty active day in Midtown tomorrow. City leaders say they're going to have more information about their grant funding first thing in the morning. See how it all plays out, Anna. Thank you. Live in Midtown tonight.